Good afternoon my dear students how are you all I hope you and your family are all safe okay talking about your previous class we had uh, discussed about nouns pronouns right so today we are going to study about verbs you can look over the topic here verb so what is verb can anyone explain me what is verb okay a verb is a part of a speech did you get me my dear students a verb is a part of a speech a verb is used to show action state and position without a verb we cannot make a sentence did you understand my dear students a verb is a part of a speech a verb is used to show action state and position without a verb we cannot make a proper sentence and a verb is used according to the sentence did you understand my dear students a verb is used according to the sentence so there are two types of verbs they are auxiliary verbs and ordinary verbs first of all you can look some few examples over here uh, like um, c r u n s runs c runs in the morning c runs in the morning this runs this describe the sentence yes or no this word describe the whole sentence that's why this runs is an verb this runs is a verb another one example is c is a teacher c is a teacher so which word complete a sentence here which word complete a sentence here can you tell me yes is this complete a sentence here is so the state did you understand my dear students and another one example c has a book which word complete a sentence here has right has complete a sentence here so uh, we had already just i already explained you that verb shows action state and position yes or no just before a few minute i had explained you that a verb is used to show action state and position yes or no so here runs is has shows action state and position for example this runs this shows action understood this runs shows action and this is is shows this is shows state and this has shows position understood my dear students a verb is a part of speech and a verb is used to show action state and position she runs in the morning run shows action she is a teacher is shows state she has a book has shows position there are two types of verbs they are auxiliary verb and ordinary verb auxiliary verb such as i am are was where has have etc what are the example of examples of auxiliary verbs the examples of auxiliary verbs are is am are was where has have etc whereas ordinary verbs such as ask beat catch run walk eat etc so what do you find the differences between auxiliary verbs and ordinary verbs did you find any kind of differences okay let's study about the auxiliary verb what is auxiliary verb can you tell me what is auxiliary verb okay so auxiliary verb is known as helping verbs what is auxiliary verb auxiliary verbs is known as helping verbs so there are two types of auxiliary verb how many types of auxiliary verbs are there there are two types of auxiliary verbs first first one i have already written here that one is simple auxiliary verbs 
and next one is modal auxiliary verbs. So there are two types of auxiliary verbs that is simple auxiliary verbs and the next one is modal auxiliary verb. First of all let's discuss about the simple auxiliary verb. You can look over here I have written here something root form, base form, past form, past participle form, present participle or ing form, as form or present form singular and present plural form. So you can look here root form or base form here B H A V E have and D O do these are the word which is used in root form and base form understood so next one is past form was where had did these are the few examples of past form did you understood my dear students was where had did are the few examples of past form another one is past participle been had done been had done these are the few examples of past participle form. Now another one is present participle or ing form. B E I N G being H A B I N G having and next one is D O I N G doing. Another one is S form or present form singular. What will be here? Is, am, has, does. And last one is present plural form. What will be here? Are, and, have, and, do. Yes. These are the word, these are the verbs which are used in simple auxiliary verbs. Root form, base form, be, have, do. Past form, was, were, had, did. Past participle, been, had, done. Present participle or ing form, being, having, doing. As form or present form singular is, am, has, does. And the last one, present plural form are, have and do. Okay, my dear students, these are the verbs which is used in simple auxiliary verbs. Now, there are different types of simple auxiliary verbs like simple, like simple present be e verb simple present be e verb and another one is simple past simple past of be was and where simple present be e verb simple past of be was and where like for example this one Simple present be evolve. We use am with i such as. We can use am here. A -M -M. We can use am here. Like for example, I am a teacher. I am a student. I am a doctor. These are the few examples of simple present be evolve by using am. -M. I am a teacher. I am a doctor. I am a nurse. Yes, I am an engineer. These are the few examples over here. And you can use in this simple present be evolved. You can use is is as well. Is is as well. So what will be the example if you use is? He is a teacher. 
C is a teacher. He is a doctor. Yes or no? Yes. These are the few examples if you use is. He is a teacher. C is a teacher. It is a dog. Understood my dear students? So another one is simple past of B was where? What will be the example here? He was a teacher. C was a teacher. Hem was a captain. Rita was a basketball player. Sam was a football player. Yes or no? Yes. So, simple present be verb you can use am, you can use is, you can use are also here, you can use are. Yes or no? Like I have already explained you this one. Am, I am a teacher by using is. C is a teacher. Are. They are students. Yes or no? And when you used was and were, you can use he was a teacher. They were playing cricket. They were playing football. Did you understood my dear students? I hope you understood, right? So, this is the simple auxiliary verbs. Now, next one is modal auxiliary verbs. Can you tell me what is modal auxiliary verbs? Okay, modal auxiliary verbs. Now, next one is, first one we discuss about simple auxiliary verbs and next one is modal auxiliary verbs. Modals are also called modal verbs, modal auxiliary verbs. Did you understand my dear students? M-O-D-A-L-S. Modals also called M-O-D-A-L, modal verbs as well as modal auxiliary verbs. Modal auxiliary verbs is special verbs which behave irregularly in English. Did you understand my dear students? Modal auxiliary verbs are special verbs which behave irregularly in English. They are different from normal verb. Understood? They are different than normal verb like work, play, visit. They are totally different than normal verb. Modal auxiliary verbs are totally different than normal verb like work, play, visit. They give additional information about the function of the man. Understood? They give additional information about the function of man verb that follows it. They have a great variety of communication functions. Understood my dear students? Models also called modal verb, modal auxiliary verbs, modal auxiliaries are special verb which behave irregularly in English. They are different from normal verbs like work, play, visit. They give additional information about the function of the main verb that follows it. They have a great variety of communication functions. Did you understand my dear students what is modal auxiliary verbs? Okay, there are many functions of modal auxiliary verbs like permission, probability, possibility, advice, lack of necessity, prohibition, obligation, ability. Understood my dear students? Functions of modal auxiliary verbs are permissions, probability, possibility, advice, lack of necessity, prohibition, obligations and ability. They are the function of modal auxiliary verb. Like uh, you can look over here some few examples of modal auxiliary verbs. M -U -S -T, M-U-S-T, must. Yes or no? Must is an strong obligation. Must is an strong obligation. Must is an strong obligation and how can you use the, as a sentence? How can you use as a sentence? Can someone tell me? How can you use as a sentence? Okay. You must stop when 
the traffic light you must stop when the traffic lights you must stop when the traffic lights turn red i think everyone knows about the traffic rules right so when the red traffic lights turn into red you must stop the vehicles yes or no so this is the example of modal verbs modal auxiliary verbs must it is an strong obligations and the example is you must stop when the traffic lights turn red so what will be the next example you can make an example of must not also you can make the example of must not so what is this this is an prohibition prohibition i have told you that function of modal auxiliary verbs are prohibition also obligation also see this must is an strong obligation and must not is an prohibition so what will be the sentence here can you tell me yes you must not smoke in hospital hospital yes or no you must not smoke in hospital this is prohibition so what will be the another example of modal auxiliary verb can you tell me my dear students what will be the another example of modal auxiliary verbs must must not must obligation must not prohibition what will be the another what will be the another c a n can c a n can what is this this is an ability this is an ability not only ability this is an permission permission and another one yes possibility p o s s i b i l i t y possibility can that means ability permission and possibility so what will be the sentence here what will be the sentence here i can swim i can swim and another one can i use your phone can i use your phone please can i use your phone please this one is another and next one smoking smoking can cause cancer i can swim ability can i use your phone please permission smoking can cause cancer that is possibility did you understand my dear students okay so what will be another one ability permission possibility prohibition now which one is another another functions of modal auxiliary verbs am a y may may permission permission so what will be the sentence here may permission what will be the sentence here what will be the sentence here may i may i use your may i use your phone please this is the permission yes or no may i use your phone please 
this is the permission so these are the few examples of modal auxiliary verbs now the next one we will discuss about ordinary verbs ordinary verbs generally identified as infinitive verbs and ordinary verb can express its meaning itself an ordinary verb is also known as the principal verb the main verb or an action verb some ordinary verbs are go eat write run play laugh help whip smile etc these are the some ordinary verb and you can so uh, you can see here what are the uh, few example of ordinary verb v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 this is an ordinary verb like v1 a d d add what will be the v2 of add a d d e d added another one v3 also added a d d e d added b4 adding a d d i n g adding b5 a d d s adds another one ax a s k ax another one a s k e d axed another one this one also a s k e d axed before asking a s k i n g asking b5 a s k s asks another one b1 go v2 went v3 gone g o n e gone v4 going g o i n g going b5 g o e s goes so these are ordinary verbs add added added adding adds ask asked asked asking asks go went gone going goes these are the ordinary verbs so my dear students today we discuss about the verbs there are two types of verbs they are auxiliary verbs and ordinary verbs auxiliary verbs simple auxiliary verbs and next one is modal auxiliary verbs and we discuss about ordinary verbs functions of modal auxiliary verbs also and the few examples also right so my dear students please revise it again in your home so we will be meeting in the next class till then take care stay safe thank you